Hey guys, welcome to my channel Beauty by Huey. If it's your first time here, then welcome. If it's not your first time, then welcome back. Um, make sure you subscribe, um, head to my Instagram, give me a follow, DM me, I want to say hello. Um, and make sure you give this, this video a thumbs up if you like it or thumbs down if you didn't, leave a comment below. Um, this is a very interesting video. So yes, I will be going through how I got tipped into buying a fake ABH palette and I've got the real one next to me. Um, I was embarrassed at first, but then I thought, why not use this opportunity so people don't make the mis same mistake as me? So let's get started. So um, the fake one will always be on this side of the camera and the um, real one will always be on this side. So I won't be holding them both up at the same time all the time, but this is a good reference point. So basically I have been wanting the um, the ABH Sun Dip Glow Kit for a really long time, but I didn't want to pay like $72 from it for it from Sephora. So I then discovered Facebook Marketplace. Um, I live in Sydney, Australia, and this is how it all started. So it was my first purchase. Um, I bought it from this girl online. I went to pick it up. As soon as I held it, even though I never owned like this one, I owned a different one, but I didn't own this particular one. As soon as I picked the fake one up, I knew it was fake. First of all, so let's go through like step by step. So this was like maybe like 10 or $20 from the girl. And I thought, yeah, she didn't really seem like t she knew about her makeup. So I was like, okay, why not? It's really cheap. Even if I kind of in the back of my mind, like 5% I was like in my head, even if it's fake, it was really cheap. Um, so that's how much it was. That's where I bought it from. This one's 40 US dollars, 72 Australian dollars. So significantly more expensive, um, obviously brand new. Um, okay, so let's go through what's real, like or how, how to tell um, and what did I notice that was really fake about it. Um, see if you can count how many times I say fake in this video. <laughs> so first of all, I held it and I knew straight away it was fake. It was so paper, like the packaging was just so fake. Um, and then I opened it up and I was like, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit damaged because I've like really gone into it to see how much pigment I can get out of it um I just looked at it probably doesn't show as well on the camera but I looked at it and I was like girl this is fake um so side by side basically this packaging like you can't see any indents it's all flat um with this one straight away you can see that there's like some indents in it you can definitely feel it as well as opposed to this one where it's just like being printed on a piece of A4 paper um obviously the signage is like not the same which I don't know if it's the case for all the palettes maybe this new packaging doesn't have it um but it definitely feels different um the back side by side there is not a lot of difference um I couldn't tell having both together when I looked at the back um I will say this, sorry, these are not like exactly the, the same kits. Like this is called That Glow. This is called Sun Dip. I don't even think this exists in terms of Anastasia um, Beverly Hills. Like I don't even think that the That Glow kit exists. I couldn't find it anywhere online. Um, so yeah, couldn't tell. When you go to open it up, I'll see if I can hold both in my hand. Um, obviously the names are different. Hopefully these don't drop because I will cry. So you can, I think you can tell. I like, to me, it's obvious. Uh, maybe that's more brown colors. See that? Like you can tell that it's, that one's real. And see that one? It's like so fake there. Um, yeah, the names are certainly different. But otherwise, like packaging wise, like in terms of the circles and like where the magnet, like little bit here to flip the magnet out, that's all like the same. Um, let me see if I can try and swatch something from the fake one for you. So I'll like put it on my wrist. This is the fake one. Like you can barely see anything at all. And I kid you not, it's not because of the light. You literally cannot see anything at all. Um, and I'll put the real one next to it. Like you literally can't see anything and actually applying it on with a brush you do get a bit of like a highlight but you don't get any of the color that's you're supposed to get with the, that glow one. Okay, then if I swatch the um, real one next to it, like straight away you can see the difference. Okay, 
That's the real one. Do you see that? Like straight away, you can see there's actually some color, like especially these two, and then that there. It shows up straight away, and certainly on my fingers as well. Whereas if I try and swatch the fake ones, like nothing. Like look at that. So fake, real, fake, real. Like it's ridiculous, right? Like, oh, <laughs> it's so obvious once you touch it. But I didn't touch it. And even if when I did touch it in my car, I was outside their house and I didn't say anything because I'm just not that kind of person to call someone out that I don't know. Um, if I know you, it's a different story. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, very obvious. Um, in terms of like taking it out from the pan, um, this is the most interesting bit. Now I have to be careful not to like get these mixed up. Um, this was the most interesting part. So the sizes of the pans are exactly the same. The sticker, this is where you can really kind of tell the difference. Do you see how like that one, I don't know if you can see compared to that one, the writing's bigger on the real one compared to this. The writing's a lot smaller and the sticker finishes like in the inner part of the circle. Whereas this one, the sticker finishes right on the edge. Okay. Um, in terms of what it says, like they're basically same to say the same thing, but the writing is a lot thinner. I'll just let it focus compared to this one. It's more bold and a little bit um, thicker in terms of the font. Uh, what it says, they basically say the same thing. You can't really tell. Um, I mean, this is made in PRC. I don't even know where that is. This one says made in, not made in PRC as well. Um, but yeah, basically the same wording on it. I'll see if I can find one where the sticker is uneven. I think there was one palette. Yep, see that one? The stickers like come down. Um, so it's very um, uneven compared to this one where it's like nicely stuck on. So I don't know, like I think that was like one of the most obvious parts to me when I took them out of um, the actual container. Uh, what else? I think the last thing I would say, like when you do apply it with a brush, like if I take a pretty much pretty clean brush like this really a little brown oh let's say this side and I go in to it like you get nothing like barely anything on it um it like, acts as a highlight but you really have to like rub it into your skin and I just feel like it's like exfoliating the skin and you don't have to do that with the real one so guys don't be fooled like I did it's very tempting to pay like a cheaper price for the product but like unless you trust the person or you know them um and they've got like really good re or even if they've got really good reviews you just don't know um but make sure when you go and look at it in store before you purchase it online and i never purchase anything that requires shipping um from as a second from a second hand point of view always make sure i can go and see it but in this case where i still saw it in person i knew it was fake straight away i didn't do anything about it but this video is to ensure you don't make the same mistake that I did. My whole thoughts on this palette, I love it. I'm so glad I paid for it. Um, lesson learned, don't go for fake stuff. It's just not worth it. See you guys, so make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe and if you haven't already, check out, check out my Instagram um, and let me know what other types of videos you wanna see. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.